Yo, we gotta talk about this Disney wrongful death lawsuit because one, it's wild, and two, it might have you rethinking your Disney Plus subscription. I'll explain, right? So this is Dr. Tang Swan. In the fall of last year, she sat down for a meal at the Raglan Road Irish Pub and Restaurant at Disney Springs in Florida. And she, her husband, and her mother-in-law reportedly chose this place because Dr. Tang Swan had a deadly allergy to dairy and nuts, with her group being assured by Disney and the restaurant that they had all the proper safeguards when it came to food allergens. Dr. Tang Swan also repeatedly told the server about her allergies and was repeatedly assured that her food would be safe for her to eat. Then, when the meal arrived, they reportedly questioned the server again about the safety of the food, and they were once again assured that it was definitely safe. And obviously, by this point, you know where this story is going. The family ate their meals at around 8 p.m., and by 8.45, Dr. Tang Swan was suffering a severe allergic reaction and was taken to the hospital where she later died. And according to the autopsy report, Dr. Tang Swan died from anaphylaxis and had very high levels of dairy and nut allergens in her system, with her husband, Jeffrey Piccolo, filing a wrongful death lawsuit against Disney in February of this year, saying that the company and the restaurant were negligent. And with that, his wife's death was a direct result of that negligence. But then that, it brings us to the truly wild part of this story, Disney's response to the lawsuit, because at the end of May, Disney's attorneys filed a motion to compel arbitration, or which means that the case would be handled by a neutral third party outside of court. And in that motion, Team Disney says that Piccolo is ignoring the agreement that he made to arbitrate all disputes against Disney and its affiliates. To which you might ask, okay, well, when did Piccolo make this agreement? Well, apparently it was when he signed up for a month-long trial of Disney Plus in 2019, with Disney's attorneys arguing that when he made an account through the Disney Plus website, he had to accept the subscriber agreement in Disney's terms of use. And those terms included the clause agreeing to arbitration. And then also saying Piccolo had agreed to Disney's terms when he bought the tickets online for their 2023 trip. Now with that, Piccolo and his attorneys have responded, calling Disney's argument preposterous and saying that it, quote, borders on the absurd, and arguing the notion that terms agreed to by a consumer when creating a Disney Plus free trial account would forever bar that consumer's right to a jury trial in any dispute with any Disney affiliate or subsidiary is so outrageous unreasonable and unfair as to shock the judicial conscience, and this court should not enforce such an agreement. And notably with that, Piccolo's attorney adding that Disney is, quote, explicitly seeking to bar its 150 million Disney Plus subscribers from ever prosecuting a wrongful death case against it in front of a jury, even if the case facts have nothing to do with Disney Plus. But for now, we're gonna have to wait to see what happens, because you have a hearing scheduled for early October to settle this situation. But in the meantime, of course, I'd love to know your thoughts.